हेलो गाइस होप यू ऑल आर गुड वेलकम टू अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो ऑन एनिमेशन इन फ्लेक्सिम सो वी ऑलरेडी हैव रिलीज्ड पार्ट वन वीडियो ऑफ इट एंड दिस इज पार्ट टू ऑफ द वीडियो सो इन पार्ट टू इट इज गोइंग टू बी अ वेरी स्मॉल वीडियो एंड इट इज द वेरी इजिएस्ट पार्ट ऑफ द एनिमेशन वॉट वी आर जस्ट गोइंग टू ट्राई वर डू इज वी आर जस्ट गोइंग टू मेक दिस बॉक्स smaller so you could look at this operator was pushing it and what we have done is we have squeezed that box to certain length so basically this is just for animations as i told this is a animation feature in flexim it does not have to make any sense with terms of data sets or something it is just for visualization purpose so we are going to learn today that how are we going to create these types of animations and visualization in respect to component in previous video in part 1 what we saw was we manipulated this operators animation so we added some of the animations like typing coding opening the locker closing the locker In this part two, what we are going to try is we are going to try out animations using operator in respect to components. So without wasting much time, let's begin. So now what we are going to do is we are going to bring a new animation operator. So we are going to try animations on operator two. Operator one animations you can already see this. We have this animation pane for it. and now we are going to go in operator 2 so we'll go in edit we'll go in animations and now we have this operator 2 so i'm just going to resize it in the animation frames and then we are going to add a component here so when i add a component here you could look at this blue color box has been arrived here and uh, what we are going to do is we are going to create the animation for this along with that i'm also going to add a animation here which is animation 37 i'm just going to rename it as be aware say i renamed it as be aware now what we are going to do is i am going to uh, reposition this box at a center to the operator i am going to add a keyframe then i am going to take a head and i am going to add a keyframe now this keyframe timing you can adjust based on the timings you have as per your inputs received or as per your animation cycle time requirement so now i am going to make it smaller and i am going to add a keyframe so these keyframes are basically the small screenshots or the small uh, patches we add up for animation creation so i am just going to move ahead then again i am going to make this smaller and i am going to add a keyframe again i am going to make it smaller you could look at in these other frames also the direction has been changed and i am going to add a keyframe and i am going to move this backwards and i am going to add a keyframe so this is how we add the keyframes different different keyframes to the component in term which if you could look at it starts changing so if you could look at this is how the animation we have applied onto the component look like what we have done is these are the keyframes which are applied onto the objects and you you know that what we have done is we have first reduced the size of the component then clicked on the keyframe then reduced it and then added a keyframe so we are just adding certain shots to show that how the animation should play now we have applied it onto the component now what we need to do is we also need to bring this operator into play so what we are going to do is we are going to go to bone animations if you could look at here this is bone animations and we are going to click on add animation clip here if you see we had uh, nothing now we have animation clip when you click on this animation clip currently it is walking animation applied so now we'll go and put it into push so if you look at we have a clip of pushing and we are certainly just going to drag it till this uh, end of this keyframe which we added for the object now if you look at i have just i'm just starting this again simulation and if you could look at now it's visible and if you could look at the box or the components has been visible that it has been squeezed and then it has been pushed so this way is how we create the animation this is how we create the animations for components 
in part two we have seen now so this is how we are going to apply the animation to the component and then we are going to take our operator entity also into the play of animations so we have completed our operator two animations now what we will just try it is we will just run the model and check out how our operator two animation run works so what we are going to go in source we are going to have only one token just we are going to rename this animation as be aware what we named that as animation i'll just reset this model and we'll just run and look at how it is so if you could look at this is how it runs and how it is visible so it is the exact animation we have created so basically what this operator is going to do is it is going to push in and then the oper the object is then going to get pushed backwards so this is how our animation was created and this is we have replicated it also to operator 2 so we have completed our animations part 1 and part 2 will soon come with another interesting video on flexim training so stay tuned with us stay learning stay simulating so we'll meet in another interesting video if you haven't shared or liked our video do share it and like it do subscribe to our channel till then stay safe stay healthy